This Kellerland Living segment is sponsored by Cutler Law Firm with offices in downtown Sioux Falls. With summer winding down, most of us don't want to have to start thinking about the winter and ice ahead. Yet, today's Cutler Business Beat guest has probably already strapped on a pair of hockey skates and is already out on the ice with a hockey stick and a puck, at least in his daydreams. That's because Roger Casa Jr. owns Rhino Hockey in Sioux Falls, and you could say he lives for the ice year-round. What do rhinos have to do with hockey? In today's Cutler Business Bee, we're learning more about the fun of business and sports. We're sitting down with Roger Casa from Rhino Hockey. Roger, thanks for joining me here at Cutler Law Firm. I'm excited to hear about Rhino Hockey. You bet, thank you for having me. Okay, so what is this? What's Rhino Hockey? Rhino Hockey is, a, is an organization for youth and adults in the Sioux Empire area where I started in, in 2013, where it gives uh, kids and adults a different option to play hockey in the Sioux Falls area. Does this come from your own experience as a kid playing hockey and growing up and just thinking it's not as fun as it used to be, or what really set you out on this path? Well, I've always believed if you're not having fun, why are you doing it? because life is a challenge and you always have to have an outlet and, and I always like to have fun no matter what I do. And so, and I like to bring that to the kids and, and I have some great coaching staff that helps me with that and they teach the basics and, and make sure the kids have fun during the, during the process. Let's talk a little bit about maybe the intensity because I know for a lot of people, athletics with kids, it gets to be where it's you're doing it every day and you're traveling all the time and is mm -hmm. rhino hockey offering a little bit of an alternative to that really intensive schedule and travel mm -hmm. yes we do we do it uh we do two, uh, two sessions we do a winter and then we do a summer it's one day a week for 10 weeks and it just gives an opportunity where these families that have two or three more kids in in their family an opportunity still enjoy the game and not commit to the four to five days six days a week so that's kind of the difference that we have you know i have three kids and it really does get to be a challenge mm -hmm. when they each have different interests and suddenly sure. they're all doing something that requires a ton of time and a ton of travel there's only two parents here right like right. we can't figure out how to get them everywhere they need to go right right yeah when you have more than two kids you got to play zone not man to man so you got to figure out what which, what's going to be best for everybody to participate either in soccer, football, basketball, whatever, and hockey. So that's what we try to do is give an, an option for these kids to just to have fun and, and less stress and to learn the game. So how early do kids start out with you and then how far can you take them? Great question. Um, I, I've had kids that are four years old. I go all the way up to 18 if they needed to some one-on-one -on -one time with some of our, our coaches. So. And adults too? Yes, we do have adults, uh, 18 and above. Uh, I have an oldest one that's uh, in a 69-ish age, and a uh, great group of guys, and it's co-ed as well, and, and male and female in, in my programs. Do you have to have experience as a hockey player, as a kid or a youth, to actually play hockey with you as an adult? I don't know. You don't? No, no you don't. No. So, like, could I play? Absolutely. So, like, I could actually come? Absolutely, 100%. And I would be okay. Yeah. I'd be able to learn. You would teach me or yeah. somebody would. Yeah, absolutely. Do you have a lot of people coming into it that don't have hockey experience? Yeah, I have a program called Senior 101. And uh, that's basically teaching uh, adults, A, to learn to skate, and then just do the basic fundamentals of hockey. So it's a lot of fun, and it's, it's a challenge for the, for the adults because they're very competitive, and they get frustrated because they're not where they should be. But I always keep saying, you're a baby. You're, you're brand new, so you just can think about that when you're a baby, you're only like one day old, two days old, three days old, so. And okay. it does put, you gotta put it in perspective. So I'm all in, I definitely wanna do that. You know, we're sitting here mm -hmm. in the um, conference room at Color, right next okay. to Steve Sarbacher's uh, yep. office. Can you secretly teach me to play hockey and then I'll like beat him at it? Beat him at his own game. Uh, I can do my best, absolutely. <laughs> Steve's a very good player. All right, well I'm in, that's gonna be so much fun. I can't wait for that. Where does the name Rhino come from? Rhino hockey is, is come from where a rhino is a very majestic animal and a very strong animal and that's what I teach my kids where uh, I have a good foundation as a player, as a skater, and it's very hard to knock over a rhino. So that's kind of what I'm teaching my kids to have a good stance and, and, and uh, be a good hockey player in that aspect and a good person. You've talked a little bit about the importance of having the ability in athletics to 
experiment and try things. And sometimes mm -hmm. I think, you know, kids get involved in something where the stakes are so high that they right. just keep doing what's best and not try new things. So in rhino hockey, are there opportunities for them to just really experiment and try things and change their game up? Absolutely. They, I mean, what we do is in our 10-week session, we do 30 minutes of instructing, just doing some basic drills and so on and so forth. And then we do a, a, a small games, three on three, and that teaches. And I really encourage kids to experiment on what, they're, what they've learned and, and do, do stuff that they would never do in a regular game, where this is where they can get more experience and more confidence in their game by just experimenting in different things in different plays. Do you have kids playing with you that really want to keep it pretty low key? I mean, they, they don't really have aspirations of going to play varsity hockey. They just want to have some fun and they just want to get out there. Yes, I do. There's a lot of, there's some of that and there's, it's, it's a mixture of both. There's some, some kids that come out and play, just want to play. And those kids that want to get to that next level and, and be better. And that's where I can take them to a certain level and then I, I just encourage them to go to X, Y, or Z. Talk to me as a parent because I often look at some of the sports that I'm not as familiar with and it feels really intimidating to get started, mm -hmm. um, even to get my kids involved because I just don't really know. I don't know when do they start, where do they go, who do I call, how often do they practice. Right. How, as a parent, do I kind of get involved and do you have tips or advice on that? Uh, I recommend uh, parents get their kids involved in everything and, and find out what they want to do. Because I see so many parents try to put them into what they want them to be in. Um, and so I can be guilty of that too, but it's, it's get them involved in, in something and, and keep them involved in different sports because each sport will help in different aspects of their life. And I, I really believe that because I played four different sports growing up. So, Have you really seen a shift in being able as a child to play multiple sports because everything has gotten a little bit more intense? Yeah, there's there's too much of uh, year round. Year round is good uh, to a point um, because sometimes I see a lot of kids get burned out, and where if they were playing hockey in the in the in the winter time, and then they could have been playing uh, track in the in the spring, and then summer baseball, and and it just that's how I grew up. And it, it, I'd like to see more kids playing in different sports instead. Of, there is a small portion of these kids play one sport, but that's. That's their cho choosing, so. So for somebody watching, you've got more than one season. You've got a winter season and a summer mm -hmm. season, mm -hmm. so people can just, you know, look you up and find out how to get involved, and they can be playing as early as this winter? Yep, yep. Well, excellent. I'm in. Can it be me, too? Absolutely. All right. I'll, I'll call you later, and we'll set up a time to Brittany and I can come out there and learn to play some hockey. Fantastic. I'd love to have you. Thank you so much for sitting out with me. I can't wait to go be a rhino. <laughs> me, too. <laughs> If you would like to get back in the game of hockey or just want to watch the game, you can reach Rhino Hockey by calling 605-988-4661. You can also find out more about the Rhino Hockey Leagues they offer on their website at rhinohockeysuefalls.com. Cutler Law Firm has a strong foundation of building relationships based on trust, honesty, and integrity. As a full-service law firm, their attorneys can help you find legal solutions for corporate or business, financial services, litigation, trust and estates, and much more. You'll find them on the fourth floor at 140 North Phillips Avenue in Sioux Falls. Just give them a call at 605-335-4950 to schedule a consultation.